Hey, what is up guys? My name is Oleg. Welcome to the channel. Today I have another unboxing video for you. This one is of a small uh, micro brand from South Korea. Their name is Tissel. Uh, they mainly specialize in homage watches and I purchased their Marine Diver, which is uh, the Rolex Mariner homage. The specs of this watch are unbelievably attractive and uh, a lot of people in the online communities regard this as uh, best um, value for money watch out there. So let me just tell you some of the specs. It has a, a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on the inside. It has a ceramic bezel. It has a Miyota 9015 movement, which is of course hacking and hand winding. Incredibly accurate and well-respected movement. And it also has a glide lock mechanism, just like the original does, <coughs> or the new originals. So an attractive uh, proposition, especially for the price, it was only 220 US dollars shipped. There is, however, a small hook. Uh, you have to wait for quite a bit to order this watch. So just to give you an idea, altogether it took about six weeks for me to get this watch in the mail. Although to be fair, we did have holidays. So maybe without holidays, it would have taken a little bit less. Um, I'm super excited, haven't seen the watch yet. So let's get started with the unboxing. All right, guys, so here's the box that the watch ships in. Um, as you can see, it's just a paper box. We've got some damage on it. Um, I haven't opened the box yet. Super excited. Let's cut this bad boy open and uh, let's check out the watch. All right, so let's pop this box open. I am super excited. We got foam standard foam here and uh, looks like there's no actual watch box it's just uh, some foam here and here is the watch wow I gotta tell you it feels heavy it, it feels uh, substantial this watch so let's move this box out of the way and uh, so let's peel off this, uh, this plastic on the dial. All right, let me zoom in and give you a little bit of a better look. So here's a watch a little bit closer. Uh, it's, uh, it's beautiful. Um, a lot of people say Manny for value. It's one of the better Rolex homages out there. Uh, my initial impressions are fairly positive. I mean, uh, specs wise, this watch is, uh, it's hard to beat. We have a ceramic bezel, we have a sapphire crystal, AR coating um, under the sapphire crystal. Obviously date function with the pretty nice loom. So this looks like a proper Rolex Submariner loom, two and a half times. Uh, crown guards, uh, unsigned crown. Uh, we also have Miyota uh, 9015 movement, a very respectable movement. Uh, should run very nice and smooth. So let's give it a little bit of a shake here and uh, let's watch see the watch tick very nice and just got to tell you when I shake the watch I can really feel the rotor moving on the inside so the rotor is not stiff at all and I mean it shouldn't be stiff uh, I love that I believe it's an enamel dial uh, very deep uh, dark uh, black so this is the t-cell marine diver uh, of course i'll do a full review for this watch um, i believe the clasp is also one of the big selling features for it so um, let me actually unwrap all this plastic and uh, give you a little bit of a closer look at the bracelet and i will also pop it on my wrist so here's the watch with all the plastic removed actually let me unscrew that crown and maybe move the hands out of the way and you can see that the movement is obviously hacking uh, as Mayora. 9015 is a hacking movement. Excuse the sounds, I am receiving some text messages right now. Um, so, uh, yeah, my initial impressions with this watch are very positive. This bracelet is amazing. We have the glide lock system, uh, which is very easy to use and uh, feels very secure on the wrist. We also have the micro adjustments. And again, all this is stolen directly from or copied from uh, Rolex themselves. But you know if if it's a good system and if it works why not copy it is what i say uh, and i guess their utility patent has expired that's why uh, a lot of companies are able to copy uh, this uh, 
design. And correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but that's just uh, what I've heard and what I think. So again, overall, my impressions are very positive. However, there's one big issue with the watch that I didn't uh, originally notice when I took it out of the uh, box, but I noticed now after taking all the plastic off and you can see right here on the bezel at the top should be a loom dot. I know I'm not exactly sure what is the uh, exact technical term for that. Uh, part, so I'm just going to call it a loomed dot on the bezel and that's missing. I looked through the package and it's not anywhere in the package so I'm not sure if it maybe fell off during the transportation or maybe it left the factory like that but of course I'm very disappointed because um, I um, contact, contacted the cell about a, about a month ago, more than a month ago actually and then I was about a month on a waiting list uh, before they shipped this watch and and then waited another week for it to arrive here to Canada uh, and now it's missing this dot uh, of course I'm gonna email them and see uh, what kind of solution they have for me uh, hopefully they can email uh, send me a new bezel and I can just put that on myself or maybe take it to a local watchmaker to put that on I really hope I don't have to send this watch back and wait another month or so for another watch to arrive because that would be quite disappointing and it's really a shame that this happened to this watch because uh, other than this the watch is, is really nice i mean we have the screw down pins we have solid links we have solid end links uh, as i mentioned the movement is great of course i'm going to do a full review of this watch and give you accuracy and things like that um, but yeah i mean uh, that is very disappointing this part missing because now obviously I have to deal with this whole thing uh, let me give you a wrist shot before I go so that's what the watch was like on my seven and a half inch wrist uh, sorry seven and a quarter inch wrist just give myself a quarter of an inch typical man am I right so yeah I mean obviously the watch wears amazingly because these are the Submariner proportions and there is a reason why everybody copies these proportions. All right, that was the unboxing of the Cell Marine Diver. Uh, very disappointed about the lack of a uh, loom pip. That's right, I looked it up. It's not called loom dot, now I know. It's called loom pip. Uh, every day you learn something new. Um, so again, very disappointed in that, but hey, what are you gonna do? Uh, actually, what I did, I reached out to Tissell already and they responded, which is a plus for their company. Uh, customer service was very quick and they have said that it will send me another bezel. They kind of gave me two options, whether I want to send this watch back and they will send me a different one or whether I want um, a bezel to be mailed to me and just replace the bezel myself. And I said, hey, send me the bezel, I'll figure it out. Uh, just because I don't want to wait uh, for for, uh, for the whole shipping of this watch and waiting for a new watch to arrive. It's, uh, it's gonna take too long and I'm very impatient. Uh, so, I have never replaced a bezel before in my life. This is gonna be an interesting experience. Actually, if any of you guys out there have uh, replaced a bezel before, let me know, is it hard? Should I attempt to do it myself or should I just uh, take it to a professional uh, watch repair uh, watchmaker? And, and have them uh, do it for me. Uh, so yeah, please leave your thoughts below and let me know how hard is it to change a bezel in a watch. Uh, other than the problem with the bezel, uh, the watch is great, that's why I didn't wanna send it back. Everything works fine. Uh, on the first glance, my initial impressions are very positive. Again, just disappointed about the loom pip. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will do a full review for you, of course, and I will keep you updated with the bezel change. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as I release new videos every Friday.